Hey everybody, welcome back. I've got something for you today, and I'm doing a mod for the Switch. Now, I'm still working on figuring out whether or not this thing will actually do what I think it will, but let's dive into it. Yes, this is for the dock, and it is a way to use the extra uh, cooling ports here in the back to feed the other vent on the back of the Switch. The one on this side is completely open, like you'd expect, but this one seems to be hidden behind the uh, control panel and uh, hookup and all that stuff for HDMI and USB and all that um, inside of a sealed box. Well, I didn't think that was very good. I wanted to be able to pull in cold air rather than the hot air generated by these components, um, especially when the system starts getting warm. So I figured that the air inside the box where this resides would be at least warm enough extra than the air that would be as if you pulled it from the outside like this vent is. So I wanted to see if I could circumvent a little bit of this uh, with something as minimal as possible without any modification to the actual dock itself. I wanted to make this a completely reversible idea. So I spent about three days figuring this out and I finally came up with something which I still need to put together but I'll show you real quick and it is my uh, attempt at a drop-in cooling mod. I don't know how well it'll actually work, but uh, I have a temperature uh, probe on my multimeter, and I will get rid. I'll get to that uh, after Thanksgiving here. But I just want to show you this real quick. So, what we have here is uh, this is Centra or Sintra, however you want to say it. Um, we use this stuff at work for signs and, and other stuff, and it is very, very strong stuff. I use this because I needed to have something that was thin. Um, and I mean like 16th of an inch and even less when I cut this piece in half. I mean, heck, look how big that is compared to my fingers. Okay, and I'm working with an exacto giant handle thing. Uh, and a box cutter. Okay, so this this definitely took a while. I did some planning on it, and I'll show you how this goes together. Now there are three parts to this, but it's actually pretty simple. The idea here is that let me slide this stuff over. In here, these vents pull in, and up here is actually vented out toward the top, uh, including from the box. This is the, essentially the only way out that fresh air gets pulled in. So I want to be able to pull from here, uh, I'm sorry, through here, into here in a straight shot and not pull in from anywhere else. I wanted the vent in to actually end up, instead of here, up at the top. So this is actually done in multiple layers because this is honestly the only way I could do it. And I will show you how these go in here. Uh, let me get a good angle on this with the light. So my lighting here kind of kind of sucks okay let's go with that so we have a bottom piece here and not that one so I'll show you first there is this top layer which is just made out of a piece of uh, cardstock and this actually ends up going in Like that. Now I do need to cut it just a little bit better. Uh, I've got this little corner over here that still needs to be worked on. But uh, it has the notches for this and these two pieces. So what I needed to do was be able to have a cover and have enough room above these vents up that it can pull out. So in order to accomplish that, I have one of these things that's cut to shape. And I'll show you how the shape fits in here. It'll be much easier when this is actually glued together. It's a little, I just don't want to break this part right now. Just like that. Now, you can tell there, the vents are a little bit covered. I'll need to shave this back, and I am planning on 3D printing these. Um, so if you guys are interested in buying one of these things from me, let me know. Um, but at least first, let me get a mock up made. 
um, and then refine the uh, dimensions and everything. But uh, so in here, you have the airspace that it can pull from. It can't come out the sides because there's this leg. And I understand that as you're looking at it, there is a gap under there. That's going to be gone in a second. I'll show you why. But I want to go over and fill up as much of this space and have something to hold onto so that it couldn't fall out going this way. So once it's in, it's in. It's held in by this tab, this tab here, this right angle, and it's pressed in at 90 degrees. So it can't actually shift or come out. And the specific height that I chose presses up relatively well against the components on the on the circuit board up here, but it doesn't press out. It doesn't bulge anything. So it's literally the perfect height. Uh, it's just a hair more than a quarter inch, and it's kind of hard to actually tell you exactly what it is um, when I'm working with stuff this small, so I'll have to try it. But uh, yeah, it's ever so slightly a hair more. So with that out, what actually goes in is something like this, but the cut in pieces. Now that's where I would have had this. That's the top that went up here. Well, that had to be cut out. And what goes in its place is this guy. All right, like that. I really need to get some better lighting over here so you can see what I'm doing. Okay. Then we have the other leg. And this leg goes in with a bit of a uh, an angle cut on him here. He goes right here. Right like that. And that little angle right here is cut just so I have a little bit more of a bite on this corner. It's a little, a little smaller a gap if possible. It's not rounded, but that's all right. You're, it doesn't really matter uh, if you have a bit of a leak in this. It's not that big a change. So then this guy, there's an ever so slight gap between the top of this piece, uh, as high as it is, and the what's flush with the surface of this piece. Ever so slight. So what I had to do was I had to cut This guy, I had to cut a section out of him, as you can kind of see here. Well, I go it there. Just a bit of a gap out of it, and that means that it'll rest on top of here, but drop down enough to reach the side uh, pieces here. So we put this in, All right, like this. Now I know over there it looks a little bit off, that's all right. Remember, this is just a dummy, it's a mock-up. I still need to get my dimensions right. Get them down perfect. So that actually can be shaved back. It's thicker than it, sh than it needs to be. I actually take about half of that off, but I'll do that some other time. Um, so now we have the full height. So as you can see in here, it's a completely sealed airspace. Now granted that half of the height of this, so this thickness back here is now only a sixteenth of an inch. I know that's not much, but remember you're not pulling gobs and gobs of air out of it. You're simply trying to pull colder air instead of warmer air. This side is already going to do most of the work for you. This side is just to help aid in pulling, pulling in colder air. So it doesn't have to be perfect, but it will pull in now from up here instead of everywhere in here. So to finish it off, you would take the top piece, which is completely flat, just like this. We'll drop it down. I said there's the part that I need to cut out a little bit better. Yeah, I see another place, okay. And just like that. Now that 
is a completely drop in. Once I glue all the edges and have the have the feet and everything attached to a top piece, this top piece is not going to be paper. It's actually going to be uh, the thickness of a piece of credit card or a hotel room card, stuff like that. Um, this this with the added Centra is the perfect height. This paper actually wouldn't be tall enough. It would it would still have a little bit of rattle in there, but if I add on this uh, credit card thickness, it's perfect. Um, so again, I need to make a mock-up of the top piece of paper with this guy, but this is just a, a glimpse into what I'm doing. Uh, so where it pulls in now, I don't know if you can see this, is right in here, in here, and in here. It doesn't pull from anywhere else. All the way around the outside here is completely sealed, and the only place it can pull in is from up here, where colder air is literally right here, because remember, the top of that back flap only comes to right here. It doesn't come any farther up, it doesn't seal, it literally comes to right here. Now, there are a couple of things that hang over, but I think that's mainly for dust, and so you don't drop things on inside to hit the circuit board but that won't matter. It's pulling from the top instead of inside of this hot sealed box. So what I need to do is make a mock-up. I will run the system with Breath of the Wild, Fast RMX, uh, Minecraft, whatever, I'll run it docked for, I don't know, probably give it a good 20 minutes and leave my temperature probe in here and do some readings and then go ahead and drop in my mock-up, put everything back together do my readings and see if there's any change. If there is and it's worthwhile, I will let you guys know in an update video and probably put some of these, these things up for sale. So to show you that it fits, uh, I don't have a big enough chunk of credit card uh, sitting here, but I, uh, I can at least show you, well, actually I might. Give me just a second here. Let me see if I can find something. Uh, I can always cut something up. Eh, well, I really don't. But, all right. It's not that huge a difference, but I'll show you. So I'm not going to connect these. I'll leave these out. Because I'm just going to put this in real quick and show you guys how this goes. Okay, so... Getting about that piece. This sits in here. Just like that. Okay. Now if it were a little bit thicker, obviously this wouldn't I mean it still sits free, but uh, it would sit up against the component. Uh, one of them, I don't remember which one off the top of my head. And that allows colder air in. So what it's sitting on, move this out of the way, what it's sitting on is the top of the USB uh, block right here. That's what's in the top corner. That sits right about yeah, here-ish. Um, so if type C is up here, USB sits right here. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm off camera. My bad guys. Uh, USB sits right here, and that's the lowest thing on the board. In fact, that's even lower than the HDMI port. So the only thing it's pressing on is USB. So even though it's plastic, it won't actually conduct any heat because the port itself shouldn't be generating any heat, or at least any significant heat, because there's no heated components near it. Um, it looks like everything might be on the back of the board. but yeah, so that's my idea. Uh, let me disassemble this for you and show you how it went. So that's going to be plastic. There's this piece, which is made out of Centra or will eventually be 3D printed. And then you have the two legs that go in here, and they add the extra thickness. 
so small I can even get my I just grab them out of there so yeah that's it I uh, hope you guys enjoy the video let me know what you think uh, definitely let me know if you're interested in getting one I will uh, work on getting the final prototype uh, finished here as soon as possible and I will let you guys know thanks for watching like share and subscribe and I will see you guys in another video